Plus, Kevin, more tech, utechit.com. Dot com. We're back for another podcast. Yep. And uh, this is going to be kind of fun. Is we this, were, this, this FCC come in to regulate us yet or anything? Or we just keep... Dude, we're, we're flying so far under the radar. Cause, yeah, come on. <laughs> you know, we're 18 <laughs> listeners, you know, that... Uh, we're not at 18. <laughs> with, a, with a name like less Kevin, <laughs> it more tech, it, yeah. should, it should have more than... Did, did, you, did you hear that voice? That, that's the voice of one of my favorite... Partners, and, and we'll get into introducing him here in a second. But the reason I wanted him back yeah. less, and I think he's been on here or there before with us, or little snippets of stuff, is that uh, we get rec- called on all the time as a company, right, to yeah. invest money and in sponsorships and programs and advertising and all this. And, and we've heard, we've said it to our customers: we're looking for uh, the transactional stuff doesn't excite us. We're looking for partnerships, right? Yeah. And we want yeah. somebody that uh, we can align with that. Uh, looks out for us and has our back and we can have their back and it, it, you throw out ideas and you try different things and it may work, they may not work, right. but you're having fun doing it and you're not afraid to retrench and go back and yeah. come up with something. And, and so that partner is, uh, inner sport yeah. and rocket mortgage classic that, uh, we're so fond of, right, Christine? That's right. Yeah. It's been fantastic for, for us and our clients. This is one of the first sales guys <laughs> that, <laughs> that we use, right? That uh, that heard that and said no problem, and and he's done it in spades, right? Yeah, no, I mean it's it's been awesome working with you guys. Um, you know, I think in in the sports world in particular, um, you know, we we throw around the term partnership mm-hmm. a lot, um, but in the at the end of the day, it's like, hey, just you know, buy some hospitality, you know, put your put your sign here on this lo- rotating LED board. Um, but I think what what excites me about about sports partnerships in particular is the ability to kind of put your marketing hat on and a bunch of different concepts and, and to get creative all within the world of sports. Wow. Um, and, you know, having a partner like you tech and, you know, working with Les, Kevin, Christine, the whole team. Um, it's, it's been awesome to be able to do that with you guys. Um, you know, being there side by side to pull off some Kevin, cool things. Did we, did we introduce his name? Well, I was going to get that. We, <laughs> okay. we, we, oh, we I had, jumped, uh, I jumped uh, in. No, no, no we're good. Here's, here's hey, another we're Detroit, here's another Detroit name. We had, uh, we, we, we did a podcast with that great golfer, Joe Hooks, from Detroit, right? Right, right. Joe. And now we got an all-time great name yeah. for uh, for Detroit, right? Uh, the true. McInerney brand, right? right. Yeah, Tom. Tom the McInerney. Tom McInerney. <laughs> well, well, the Tom's not so great, but the McInerney, McInerney name yeah, is, is, yes. is one that... So, so people listening, just tell us about the name and, and what, what, what that means in Detroit. Yeah, um, so uh, born and raised in Detroit, family very heavily in the automotive industry. Mm-hmm. Um, many, have, if you're from the Detroit area, have heard the name Hoot back oh, in yeah, yep, yep. Um, Hoot. Big auto dealer, great name. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a cool nickname like that just yet. But Well, it, you know what? If we keep going, we're going to come up with yeah. one here. Maybe. And it's your okay. grandfather, right? Uh, it, well, so it would be my, my dad's uncle. So okay. my my grandfather's brother would be who. Well, speaking of great nicknames, I, I thought one gave him to you, you were given one on a golf course. Uh, we, we had hooks and hack, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I was bracing for that one. Yeah, no, I, in uh, but out, hey, was that his given name who? or is that a uh, no Martin Martin? Okay, name. all right. Um, but big automotive. Um, you know, my grandfather, his brother, um, also had you know mm-hmm. three or four dealerships at one point. Uh, my dad in the dealerships, mm. all my aunts, uncles, everybody in some type of automotive. And, you know, my dad told me, he's just like, you know, I, I really would like you to go do something that you really enjoy. I think he kind of fell into the automotive side yeah. Yeah. Um, just because it was a little bit easier and more of a family tradition. Um, but he said, go do something you love. And at the time, I thought I was going to be a professional athlete. Um, right. So I love sports. And, you know, I, I think I quickly realized I didn't have the, the physical abilities um, what to, was to your carry sport? that on. Uh, I was mainly soccer. Soccer, up. okay, soccer. Cool. A little bit of golf. I I played more recreationally. Um, okay, back in the day, but I realized that probably wasn't going to work out pretty quickly. So I kind of changed paths and and thought of you know how can I still be around sports and work in sports and um, I ended up doing a handful of internships throughout the career with uh, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Detroit really? Pistons, a company called General Sports Entertainment. If you're mm-hmm. from the Michigan area, mm-hmm. you might be familiar Andy with Andy Appleby. Andy Appleby. Yeah. 
and uh, in the United Shore Baseball League over there at Jimmy John's Field. Mm -hmm. Um, That was actually my first project with Andy Appleby was looking up, (laughs) you know, some different areas in the metro Detroit area that could host a a baseball field. So that was really, really really exciting. That was when I was probably, yeah, like 20. I I don't want to plug him too hard, but that anybody needs to go see that stadium. It's a really cool environment. Had a chance yeah. to see that this uh, really get involved with this uh, this fall and see that. And then I, I remember Andy from the Pistons days. Mm-hmm. He's a uh, he, he's a good guy in our business. There's not always good guys in this business, right? There's there's a couple characters, yeah. but he, he's a good dude, isn't he? Yeah. No, I, I really enjoyed working with Andy and, and spending time with him. And it was great to kind of move back to Detroit after being in Chicago for mm-hmm. a while. He was one of the first people that reached out and said congratulations about the new role. And with that. Uh, being taken uh, at the Rock and Marge Classic. So, really exciting. Awesome. Yeah. So, you're growing up, the golf thing. How did you get in, engaged? Because I, cause I, you're going to be a professional soccer player, but I also heard you say you enjoyed the golf. Yeah. Uh, golf he's has always been. Good at it. And he's, yeah. yeah, he's very good. At it. <laughs> uh, well, we give him a hard time, but he's really the good. Other guy, the other guy who was around was better. But um, <laughs> now, my, my grandfather, and I think I might have told you guys a story a while back, but um, he at one point worked at the. Uh, executive committee of the USGA. Um, mm. So he was on the green side. Um, he was He's in the Michigan Golf Hall of Fame, actually. His name's Tom Chisholm, so that's on my mother's side. So named yeah. after him. Um, and I remember going to a bunch of tournaments, with whether it was the Ryder Cup at Oakland Hills um, mm. back in the day, PGA Championships at Oakland Hills, or you know we would even go down to Pinehurst, and he took me to a U.S. Open down there. So those are kind of my earliest memories. Um, so I, I really fell in love with the, the game yeah. of golf and kind of what comes with it. Um, you know, I think it, there's a lot of personal connections that you make mm-hmm. throughout the game, whether you play, who you meet, um, and typically really good people. I think you you understand a lot about someone when you play golf with them. Um, and I think I was really lucky to to have those experiences when I was younger and see how my grandfather treated others. I think mm-hmm. one of the things that made me really want to get into sports in particular um, is when he had some tickets to a suite and he was walking around and saw a mom with her she was pregnant she had two young kids and he goes hey you know why don't you take these tickets into this suite instead of instead oh, of me wow. and I was like wow that'd be so cool to be and yeah. the look on their kids face her face just the relief was was really awesome and I was like wow to be able to do that to yeah you know one day in the career would be awesome and, you know I've been able to do that a couple times at at the Rock that's and Orange Classic the last couple of years so it's been exciting. Well, that's something that uh, anybody that spends five minutes around you understands that uh, you understand. It's, it's about creating customer experiences. It's about creating special experiences and opportunities for people. And I think that's what uh, makes a partnership so great. We asked Christine to come in because really she's the one that's been executing these plans with you. And, and she's like, oh, what a guy to work with, right? <laughs> it's just, it's easy. I mean, it's it's the best from, from my role in in working with you for an event this large and bringing in customers over multiple days and making, I don't have to worry about anything. I know, I know the tickets are going to work on their phone. I know they're going to be able to get in the gates and find, find the hospitality suite. I know they're going to be able to get food and drinks and it's going to be first class hundred percent across the board. Like it, it's, it's easy cause I don't have to worry about anything. Working yeah, with well, you guys is great. Well, I, I would say the same going with you guys. It's fantastic working with you. I'd, you know, I'd send Christina text and say, Hey, you know, we need a we need a printer here yeah. tomorrow, and boom, boom, it's done. Um, you know, I think that's that's the type of service when it comes mm-hmm. to partnership. You want to provide that service more. Um, you know, there's some partners that you might have that you would be like, you know what, I'll get to that one next week or yeah. something like that. But when you have a true partner um, that you're working with, and you know, I, I would certainly say the same. of working with UTech, it's it's awesome to to see that level of, of client service that you guys. Yeah, put we into appreciate well. that. I know our guys love working it. They just love it. You know, they, they get in there early, and, you know, some of our technicians are down there. They're helping other guys troubleshoot. and Jason and Jason and Chris yeah. are rock stars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They love and this it. year you, uh, you added a little, little more of our technology, right, with the, uh, with the interactive uh, Aquasport, whiteboard? Yeah, it was yeah. fantastic. So we, we were trying to get a little bit creative on, on how we could engage our partners while we're at the tournament and mm-hmm. talking about next year's event. Um, so one of the things that we did was we worked with a cool company called Party Shack. Um, they, they really yes. built out these really unique trailers. Cool. Um, and they, you know, totally custom made. So when t- one side will be entirely glass, the back would be, you know, seating, refrigerator, mm-hmm. air conditioning. So something that you'd, you know, you'd see at a golf tournament, but typically it takes months for us to build. So with them, um, we were able to do something really cool where we brought one of them out, put it right on the 18th tee yeah, box. Right, right. 
We brought in um, the touchscreen where we were able to display all of our options for 2023 Rocket Mortgage Classic Hospitality and Sponsorship and Pro-Am. And it was great. We brought in, you know, I, I would say probably 200 plus um, clients into the space to see it. And the time, the space year. just looks so cool. It was crisp, modern, it, tech, it, it, it was fantastic. Yeah, that w- it was awesome. I think a lot of people loved it. We actually had a couple reach out and say, hey, can we get one of those <laughs> instead of our suite? And I was like, well, I need you to stay in your yeah. suite. <laughs> but uh, but no, it was it was really cool. And I think they're doing pretty cool stuff in, in the golf yeah. space too, especially now when you think about, you know, how expensive everything is to build and the timelines right. that it takes to build things, you know, having a company it, like it's that. It's almost like it was like, a, it looked like it might have been like a 3D printed modular, you know, it was just, it was so cool looking, and we appreciated having our technology in there because you could highlight it. You could see it through the glass windows, and so I, I was pretty proud of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, and I think that was, I just to talk on partnership, I think that was one of the things that, you know, when I was thinking, okay, how do we do something cool in a space like this? Mm-hmm. You know, Kevin was the first person I called, and I said, hey, do you have anything that would fit you know, kind of this idea, and it's a lot of we brain, wanted to put an eighty-inch board in there. And you were like, "No, let's <laughs> do the forty. Like, we need something mounted. Yeah, Take up the whole work. side of that. Yeah, um, but I mean, just bouncing off ideas and coming up with solutions yeah. together. Um, I think you know, I, the whole team here at the table is really open to those ideas mm. and, and figuring out as a group. I know our clients; they just appreciate the heck out of it. And we're, we really like our spot um, over there on uh, Seventeen Green. It's it's fun when. You look down and you're you're looking down right on the green. And actually, we had a conversation about this this other or the other day that that's actually going to get moved back a little, right? Because yeah. the players were we were a little too on top of the. It wasn't because we were loud or anything. No, right? well, no, you guys were great. Um, I think it was the neighbors, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but uh, now it's it's interesting how they place those structures. Uh, you know, they'll give us the PGA Tour will give us a guideline of saying it has to be you know this far away from this green in particular, or this far from this one. Um, but on par fives, it's unique because players can kind of take aim, mm-hmm. you know, at it and yeah. then get a free drop. And, and they do. And, and they do. Because we've had multiple golf yeah. balls in our cabana. Yeah. Oh, did you, did you give them back or did you guys get to? They well, you got to like, and, yeah. you got to freeze because everybody's like, don't touch it, don't touch it. And then you gotta, <laughs> Not a happy Gilmore moment when yeah, it's on no, your foot. Right, right exactly. Okay. That's good. Well, um, it blows, blows yeah, me no. away, though, about that is. That, you know, you got a professional golfer, they're like within a few feet, and they're always asking me for advice, you know, hey, you know, Les, how should I play this, this you know, line up, and of course, I got to help them, and, you know, and they don't, I mean, I just do it out of generosity, but you don't <laughs> really have nice. that kind of any other professional sport where you, you know, you don't see Jared Goff but, coming up in the stands asking me. So, so, so you're talking about that we're being serious. Uh, you, you know, I know you're joking for the people that don't know you, but uh, that's one of the neat things about the Rocket Mortgage Classic. They create these it is. unique opportunities yeah. with the pro am. So, so you get to play with two different pros. You can do nine holes with each, but you know that's one of the few. Th- you can't go play with the Lions. You know, out there you'll get killed. You know, if, well maybe not the Lions, but it, if it was well, the Jets yeah, or right. Giants or somebody like that. <laughs> but it, it, it's fun to be walking right next yeah, to you're a professional. inside the ropes. Yeah, I mean you can't do that you can't sit in a dugout you can't sit you know in a penalty box with hockey guys or a bench it's it's the most unique I mean no other sport can you do this and yeah. it starts off with the uh, with the uh the drawings the pairings party yeah I mean you guys do a fantastic job I mean there's celebrities left and right you know it, it's just a it's an unbelievable event it's, truly it's a really cool experience for anyone who hasn't participated in a pro-am I think you know, like you guys mentioned, it's probably the only sport that you can interact with a mm-hmm. professional the day before they're about to go mm. watch, watch them on TV. Um, and it's fun, too. I mean, you get to sit there and compare yourself and be like, yeah, I, <laughs> I outdrove, uh, you know, Rory McIlroy on that. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Um, but I, I think overall, too, just the experience getting to spend a day, getting to pick their brain, I think it's really, really cool opportunity. Um, you know, there's certainly cool gifts involved, yeah. and I think – you know, whether you're playing as a golf fan or you mm-hmm. have a client who's a golf fan that you want to take out, you know, one of the things that we do that's a little bit different than some of the other pro-ams out there is that we allow you to bring your own caddy with you. Mm. Yes. Um, Kevin's so had an outstanding caddy the last three has years. Has he? I've, I've heard. He might, might have to let that caddy play one day, <laughs> buy a couple extra pro-am spots. Um, but it's it's a cool thing, too, because, if you know, maybe maybe you're not a golfer, but – you know, maybe your client is, and that's mm-hmm. a way for you to spend four, five, six hours with right. one of your top clients, and it's a it's a really unique experience that I think that they would, you know, I think if you know, 
give out a bottle of bourbon or a gift of some mm-hmm. kind on the holidays. Like this is something that would really make an impact. Oh, from I that perspective. I can tell you from, from the clients and, and partners we've invited to play with it. You know, it, it's a remarkable experience, and and they've all said, "I'll never forget this. What a unique opportunity!" And and they've raved about it, and they're still clients. So it, it, it's a great. It's a great business tool to use that way. And this year, on a personal note, uh, we had a late cancellation, and we we reached out to you and said, "Hey, you know, we've we've always enjoyed watching Rhonda Walker, and I know she's a big golf fan. Would you, could you uh, connect us?" And, and you did, and she was happy to play, and, and and that was a real treat because she not only is she just uh, a fun person to be around, but she's a she's into golf. I mean, like she took it more seriously than my caddy did on on, on some of this <laughs> stuff, and uh, yeah, she. Uh, so it was kind of fun to see that from from that she perspective. She was a member at that course, I believe. So she, she probably was giving you some pointers too on knowing how those greens work a little bit better than yeah you know, caddies might. Um, but no, she's she's been a, a huge supporter of the tournament too. Um, you know, she, being a member at the club, mm-hmm. uh, a big voice in the city of Detroit. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think you know, if we're if we're being honest with each other, brilliant marketing move, Kevin. <laughs> like that was that was great having her her camera crew follow you around at the pairing party and the rest of the, it was it was really yeah, well some done. Some airtime on uh, Channel Four. Yeah, a couple days in a row. Yeah. yeah, well, no, it's it's all good, and and again, we we love it because it's Detroit, and and there's a, so many good things going on down there, and uh, I think the Rocket Mortgage Classic's been a huge catalyst for highlighting what's going on and reminding people that we got a lot of good stuff going there and, and she's a big believer but the detroit golf club outstanding golf club great course to play uh wonderful people to work with too i i hear yeah no the, the course has been fantastic i think um you know when you look at bringing a pga tour event to a facility yeah. there's a lot of work that has to go into making sure that it's it's up to up to par right. if you will um and i think that there's a lot to be said with the with the grounds themselves where the you know, the course is actually mm-hmm. playing, but the clubhouse too, and making sure that it can actually sustain that, uh, making sure that you have the right amount of property to actually build right. out all mm-hmm. these structures. I couldn't believe how many structures are that, that get built out. What, yeah. what, that's why it takes the membership. I mean, yeah. they, they've kind of turned the course over to you guys, right, for about, a, what, a month leading up to it, 45 days? Yeah, yeah. Least. Well, I mean, they can they can play certainly mm-hmm. throughout the um, structures I'd say up until the week up, up, but the structures mm-hmm. start going up, yeah, about, about two months mm. in advance, and... You know, it comes down faster. Um, and this is, you know, it's in the in the middle of their golf season, too, which is, I'm sure if you, you know, were right. playing at your own golf course, you'd really not love that. But right. I think everyone is behind it, you know, with the mission on, of the, you know, that Dan Gilbert set out to do is really end the digital divide in Detroit, has that, had that vision to bring mm-hmm. an event within the city limits, which is, if you look at any, every, any other PGA Tour event, it's pretty rare to see it within city limits because a lot of these courses that they'll play are out in the out in suburbs, country clubs yeah. in yeah, the suburbs. Right. And um, I think D- Detroit gets, for people that haven't um, come to see some of the revitalization of, of the city itself, um, kind of gets a bad rap. And when you get people coming in to see, you know, this beautiful historic golf course within the city limits and then, um, you know, some of the events around the around the tournament right in downtown are just blown away with, oh, my gosh, I didn't know downtown Detroit was like this. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's really special, and I think that, you know, the folks at Rocket are, are really doing a great job at putting a national spotlight on the city of Detroit. Mm-hmm. You know, they were, um, you know, they don't have their name on it officially yet, but, you know, there's there's some talks about them supporting the, the NFL draft that's coming here. Really? Okay. Um, you know, I think a lot of other things outside of that, you know, building out that Monroe Street area, which is kind of now programmed mm-hmm. with a bunch of basketball courts and drive-in movie theaters and things like that that they're doing to, to really Make breathe a lot of life yeah. into the city. And I think that you'd hear that same thing from the players who do come into town that, you know, they're really excited about what they see and, they're, you know, it's not what they thought it was. Well, anymore. you know, we, we've asked that, I think, of every pro we've played with, you know, Stuart Sink, Brendan Steele, you just name a few, and, and they've always said they've been amazed at, you know, that there is such gym like this in the city, and, it, and the city was more than what they thought it was. There was a lot more going on than, than they imagined. Like you said, it, it's popular to take shots at somebody or, or put out bad news. You know, we, we love that as a consumers for some reason, but the media plays along. Uh, I wanted to say Intersport. Uh, great partner, and talking about highlighting Detroit. We, we had a gentleman on earlier that we, we did a podcast with, Joe Hooks, who you introduced us with, and, and I think you met him through uh, some of your efforts with uh, diversity in golf and, and the John Shippen 
yeah. uh, tournament. Talk a little bit about that for people that haven't heard about this because it's a really cool story. Yeah, well, I, I guess just to lay a little bit of groundwork, it all kind of started um, with us essentially looking for an intern. So mm-hmm. this, is a, this will take a, a little mm-hmm. bit of time to tell the story. But um, we we wanted to make sure that as, as the golf tournament in the city of Detroit, that we had a staff that was also representing the people of the city of Detroit and that, that looked like them and made golf a little bit more, more comfortable. So when we set out to find a couple interns, we were really struggling with finding the candidates. Mm-hmm. And it's not that the candidates weren't out there. It's just an, an awareness problem. Um, so what we, we set out to do was create a cool and unique internship program where we could get people about understanding, you know, the work and the business side mm-hmm. of sports and not just being able to play sports. And that's something that I, you know, was able to come to on my own, but a lot of people right. can't. That kind of evolved after after year one into into year two with us thinking about, all right, now how can we provide more op- op- access, opportunity, and awareness for young black men and women who are golfers? Mm-hmm. Um, and that created in the process of naming um, the John Shippen. And John Shippen Jr. was a, was a man who's uh, the first not only African-American golf professional in the United States, mm-hmm. but the first American golf professional really? in the United States. At that time, everybody who was a <clears throat> golf professional was Irish or Scottish or English. Um, and he was, he was the first American-born wow. and African-American golf professional. And you don't hear that name, which is shocking mm-hmm. when you hear – you know, the, the Lee yeah. elders of the world and, and certainly now like the Tiger Woods is, but um, in black golf, he's, he should be a name. Um, right. And and we're trying to tell not only his story, but also the stories of these young black men and women who are making their way up in, um, you know, whether it's on the APGA tour mm-hmm. or the Epson tour, which is kind of the equivalent for the, um, for the women. Um, but it's really just providing more opportunities and, and access and awareness, telling the stories. Wow. We have an hour-long special on CBS where we, where we air um, kind of the season-long mm-hmm. recap. Um, one PGA Tour exemption for now. So, Tom, so this, this is a tour. This it's, is a tournament. It's a tournament. tournament. It's a tournament, um, okay. but we have – so we'd have two women's events and mm-hmm. we have one men's event. Got it. And then we have four exemptions into the LPGA mm-hmm. and, and one into the, in the PGA through that. Got it. And there's a special CBS that's yep CBS special so it, it airs the the Sunday before um, or the, the hour before the final round of the Rock mm-hmm. and Mortgage Classic, um, and you know we're trying to figure out some new media partnerships work with the Players Tribune um, f- for those who aren't familiar it's a kind of a vehicle for athletes to kind of tell their own stories um, so we did a partnership with them last year that we were really excited about talking with other YouTube. Mm-hmm. creators and distributors about creating some more content around the John ship and to really just, again, you know, help tell the story. I think if, if build the awareness, will, exactly. Yeah. If, if people listen to, to Joe's podcast as well, I think they would, you would agree. It's a fantastic story and this guy is great, but how can we hear more of them? And that's, mm-hmm. that's really the mission of the John ship. And at the end of the day is to make sure that, that these phenomenal athletes and great people get to get the chance to tell their story and get a shot too. Exactly. It's almost like the Dewey and Jumbo we hold down in Columbus. You know what I mean? We look for great <laughs> athletes to bring them up through there and uh, yeah, see what they come up with through. But, no, th- this is a great <laughs> opportunity because, we again, we, we had that gentleman Joe Hooks on here, phenomenal golfer, and we got to get him opportunities and exposure, and, and the shipping tournament does that and gives them this opportunity. And I, I think it's uh, neat that folks at Rocket Mortgage, classic Rocket Mortgage and Intersport work hard to, to do things like this. Anybody uh, that's listening to the podcast – that wants to do marketing, they can come to you with an idea. And the nice thing about you guys, it, you know, people think the PGA, like you're boxed in and you got to spend a bunch of money like you do for uh, Workday or somebody like that, you know, IBM and uh, AWS and they're going, you don't have to. You, you, you can, it, it's, it's a great value, I won't say. Uh, I mean, it's reasonably priced. It's a great value. And, and you guys will build a package if it's entertainment, if it's experience, if it's – advertising, signage, right? Yeah, I, I think one of the things that um, is unique about our, our team here in Detroit in particular when it comes to the PGA Tour from a sales perspective is that we're, we're really open to thinking outside and of the creative. box and getting creative on, on new ideas. Um, I think people can probably agree that the PGA Tour has been set in its ways for a fair amount of time. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, we're, we're certainly still staying within the, the boundaries here, but um, you know, what can we do more? What new partners or technologies are out there that we yeah. can find to integrate into the tournament? Um, 
you know, I think one example is using, a, it's a platform called Digideck. It's a software that helps us with our presentations. So just, you know, mm-hmm. little things that kind of help get us up a level. But yeah, at the end of the day, I think in, in comparison to other sporting events like the Lions or the Red Wings or the Tigers, where they have their stadiums and they have their mm-hmm. signage and kind of that's, that's that. We have, like, this is the kind of suite we have. This is what we have. I mean, you yeah. guys have from just like the Cadillac lawn area to the hospitality suites that we're in to the 1899 club. I mean, there's a lot of different areas that depending mm-hmm. on, you know, what that customer's looking for, right. That you can, that you can talk about. Exactly. I think, you know, one example of that is this past year, we had a, a, a partner in lineage logistics that came to us and said, Hey, you know, we, we love all these options, but we kind of want to have a couple more people attend and we want it to be more unique. And mm-hmm. we're like, okay, well, let's let's put our thinking caps on. And, you know, Lineage is a big distributor of, of, of food, and um, they have a ton of warehouses. So we what we created was um, the Lineage Warehouse. And what we did was essentially carve out a section of what would normally be, you know, building scaffold to hold the hospitality venues up top. Yeah. And we carved that oh, out oh. and made it a lower-level greenside hospitality space for 50 oh, cool. to 55 people, yeah. private bar, mm-hmm. branded interior. So it was just a phenomenal experience. Then you have the players, you know, just like you were saying last yeah. walk right by yeah. that suite, kind of wave and say hello. That was right off 18, too. It was right it? on the corner. Of the, yep. Yeah. Yep. So just little things like that. And I say little, um, but that's how but we can, unique. that's how we can get creative and get unique. And, mm-hmm. you know, and, and we can do that really at any level. I was going to say that was the, that was the cool environment we saw as we were over there looking for Mike Marizic's golf ball. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Walking by there, we're like, hey, what's this nice thing? And did you guys see a golf ball come flying by? Yeah, yeah. So it's a really good space. And oh, I think, but. you know, whether it's, uh, whether it's from, a, from a hospitality perspective and getting creative or from a marketing perspective and getting creative, or really if it's the whole package, how can we do something cool and unique yeah. to entertain your guests, um, your partners, and, and make it impactful for you at the end so, of the day? So is Rocket Mortgage Classic, that's obviously your premier event right here. Are there other things that you're involved in or engaged? Yeah. So, um, you know, the John shipping is something that we'll yep. still help pull off as well. Um, on the golf side at Intersport, sport, um, we have a hospitality venue mm-hmm. down at Augusta national. Um, mm. so it's kind of right across the street there. It's been between Magnolia and Azalea right on Washington Boulevard. So it's just a, a fun thing where you can customize a hospitality experience there. Um, we also do it, the Jackson T Stevens cup, which is a college event. Um, that we host down at mm-hmm. Seminole in Florida. Um, so we're really kind of, sp- you know, yeah. it all kind of started with the Rock and Mortgage Classic, but we're slowly starting to grow and, and wow. do more work in the golf space. It's exciting. Yeah. Now you're going to take him down to, what was it called, Augusta? Yeah. What's it yeah. called? We could. We got to get, we gotta get creative. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he said, why don't I drive him down there? Yeah. And I said, better yet, why don't we have, executive travel for you through Golden Limo, you know oh, what yeah, I mean? Right. And if you want to get there safely and on time, you know, go, go through those guys. But, uh, no, seriously, uh, Tom, we appreciate the partnership. You guys have been wonder, wonderful to work with, and I would encourage anybody that uh, wants to build a brand, wants to do any marketing, they could reach out. Uh, the Rock and Morch Classics, unbelievable event. And rumor has it you might even help them out with that golfer Joe Hooks if they want an opportunity to really get up close with golf and do something there too, right? Yeah, there's there's a there's a ton of opportunities in in the golf space, and I think it's a space that if you are a brand that's trying mm-hmm. to activate, it can make a big impact for you know, I don't want to say not a lot of money, but a, a certainly a reasonable right. amount of money. It, um, it's value driven. It's, it's and that's what it is. I mean, and and it's relationship based, and it's a it's a lot of good things. So I'm I'm gonna kind of help out from an advising side on, on some stuff with some uh, some local talent um, in, in the golf space. And um, we'll see how that all goes. But I would echo the same thing. You know, anybody who is listening, I'm sure mm-hmm. they're already a client of UTech. If they're not, <laughs> they should be. Um, but you guys have been have been phenomenal to work with. Yeah. And, and, and what are the dates it. again for 2023? Yes, it is um, the Ju- June 26th through July 2nd. Thank this you. Year. We'd have been so, remiss in not yes. talking about yeah, that. That would, yeah. that would have been a bad one. But, but now's the time to people start planning for that. They need to get We're, involved I'm, now. I'm already, I'm already working with the team at, uh, at Intersport planning for us for next year. Yeah, yeah, but they need to get involved and, and create things before the inventory is gone, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I think uh, we were full sellout last year, mm-hmm. um, and we expect the same. Uh, you know, Michigan uh, is a big golf town. Mm. People, people tend to forget that with, yeah. with all the football that's going on at right. least this time of year, mm-hmm. but. Um, 
yeah, reach out anytime. We'd be happy to talk through some cool, unique ideas. All his stuff, all Tom's contact information will be up on um, on the board after the podcast here. And yeah. um, we can, I can always get you know people in touch with them as well. Yeah, yeah. thank awesome, you, Tom. Man. Thank you for getting it. Appreciate thank it. you for being you. Cheers, guys. And thanks, Intersport. Thanks.